Reality has opened up with psychedelics. The imagination is projected upon reality in new shapes and auras and virtues and colors and smiles and griefs and pains and tortures and agonies and myths and heavens. The new book, A Book of Torture, was written in a psychedelic state. It was written following and during use of many hallucinogens and psychedelics. People took a lot of drugs, and, but the spirit in which they took the drugs was not so much um, to dull or to um, you know, mask personal problems as it was a kind of ecstatic exploration of possibility and consciousness. For several years, McClure experimented intensively with consciousness-expanding drugs, such as peyote. Uh, I first took peyote because I heard it was great. That was about 1957. And at first, I trusted very much, brought it to me, and gave it to me. I took it in the privacy of my household, and it was a great divine experience. Wallace Berman, a photographer and artist friend of mine from Los Angeles, who'd come to San Francisco in 1957 to be a head of the police who had busted a show of his photographs in Los Angeles, gave me peyote, which is a cactus taken by the Native American for its psyched, powerful psychedelic effects. Heavy feeling of sickness in stomach peculiar feeling involving eyes and ears. This connected with sickness in stomach. Eyes and ears thing, not sickness. Noticed colors brighter. My feelings of love getting out. White walls, very, very white. Orange pillow, very orange. Blue-green magazine cover. Hits the eye hard. Studying the wall, I realize how unimportant walls are. I like them. They are unimportant. They remove us from the primal, beautiful world of space outside. My friends and I, some of whom were artists, some of whom were poets, some of whom were doctors, some of whom were budding psychiatrists, some of whom were chemists, began experimenting with these, this new class of drugs because we believed that with each new drug, a different door or portal into the universe was open. Clear, the senses bright, sitting in a black chair, rocker, the white walls reflecting the color of clouds moving over the sun, intimacies, the rooms not important, but like divisions of all space, of all hideousness and beauty, I hear the music of myself and write it down for no one to read. I pass fantasies as they sing to me with Circe voices. I visit among the peoples of myself and know all I need to know. This peyote is a Native American plant um, that so many, uh, um, so many Indians, American Indians, have taken, and it's a, it's a, it's an absolutely marvelous consciousness expansion. Of course, it's you know a horrible thing to eat, and it's you know, you throw up, and you know, and it's just it couldn't couldn't be worse. But then you do the same thing on LSD or morning glories and just about anything else. I pass fantasies as they sing to me with Circe voices. I visit among the peoples of myself and know all I need to know. I know everything. I pass into the room. There's a golden bed radiating all light. The air is full of silver hangings and sheaths. I smile to myself. I know all that there is to know. I see all there is to feel. I always thought of it the difference between LSD uh, and peyote. It was, it was the difference between eating a machine and eating a flower. Because on peyote, everything glows. You have a glow around everything. And on acid, it's more of a jagged kind of, uh, kind of visual experience. But uh, they're very similar. They're very heavy psychedelics, uh, which uh, you uh, at times lose uh, 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 placement where you are. Uh, 
you uh, very often have a very inward experience and then it becomes a very outward experience, but it seems to be without, without the presence of you. But the, the idea is to open the doors of perception to see life as it truly is, as William Blake said, infinite. That's the whole point of it, to, to see the infinity of, of all things, the oneness of all things. Peyote will bring you into a state in which you realize you are God, God is you, the energy of the universe is your energy, and guess what, folks? It's all one big ball, and we're just rotating in this ball of energy, constantly rotating, alive, dancing on this planet, until we can dance no more. Once our dance is over with, pew, back into the energy that we came from, back into the light, back into the pure energy, into heaven, off to God, and then we come back out of that. If we so choose, if we want to, we can rest in heaven for eternity or come back for another dance one more time around in the red dust. That's psychedelics.